Welcome back to the Monetary Metals YouTube channel. My name is Eric Oswald, a Relationship Manager here at Monetary Metals, and today I'll be presenting the audio version of our latest blog post, It's Time for Tina to Retire. In the world of trends, history repeats more than it rhymes. Things which were once considered in decades ago reemerge as cool again decades later. From mom jeans to vinyl records and even Marxist ideology, the spotlight of today turns to things, both good and bad, once forgotten. Inflation is the latest trend to reemerge. But this isn't the kind of considerate inflation which hummed quietly in the background for years. This is the face ripping, headline making inflation which is dominating the news cycle and causing many to ask why are things so much more expensive today than they were a year ago? Our money isn't money. Our CEO has some great takes that answer the why behind the inflation we're seeing. Our recently released Gold Outlook Report 2022 contains a great summary of the reasons plus some new insights. While the increased CPI numbers continue to make headlines, the most recent numbers come to 7.5% annually, the common refrain from central bankers has been that there's no need to panic. This has all been calculated and anticipated by the economists at the Fed. Just like GDP is a terrible measure of economic health, CPI is a terrible measure of inflation. Not only has the basket of goods used to make the calculation changed numerous times, but the approach to the whole problem is not even wrong, as we like to say. Price increases will impact different people in different ways. A 7.5% increase doesn't capture the reality for most people. For some, it will be higher, others, lower. Regardless, we can be certain of one thing. The broken IOU of the federal government, which we mistakenly call money today, and the system built around it does not help. In fact, it's designed to hurt. You're supposed to lose value every year holding dollars. It's a feature, not a bug. While the stated minimum might be 2% by their own mandate, there's no limit to how high it can go. The challenges investors face. When the stated minimum loss on your dollar is 2%, and when it overshoots to 7.5%, how is one to make an investing strategy to save and hopefully retire one day? Since no CD will truly outpace inflation these days, many have turned to the stock market. Certainly, you could shoot for a portfolio that earns, say, 4% every year, but this is not as easy as it sounds. The stock market looks to be overvalued by many different metrics, and as we often say, rising asset prices is not a substitute for earning a yield, despite what just about everybody else will tell you. There are no signs that the Fed is willing to undo the damage it has already done. The total debt burden continues to grow. If the past is any indication of the future, one can only conclude that there will be more debt ahead. The growing debt puts downward pressure on yields, bond yields are the inverse of bond prices, adds default contagion risk, and ultimately increases the risk of owning dollars because you're the creditor. Those are just a few of the known risks which must be considered. Then there's the unknown unknowns, the black swan type events like COVID which cannot be predicted and are extraordinarily difficult to hedge against. All of that to say, generating a return in this market that beats inflation is no easy task. It's time for Tina to retire and for Gitta to take center stage. Tina, there is no alternative, continues to be a popular reason for why the stock market isn't slowing down, despite all the risks outlined above. But as we've said numerous times, one cannot speculate forever. We think it's time for Tina to retire in favor of Gitta. Gold interest is the alternative. Maybe not the catchiest of acronyms, but earning an interest on gold is a compelling alternative in this environment, and one investors should consider. Gold and silver have a solid track record of standing up to the dollar shortcomings. Since 1970, gold has returned around 8% per year, measured in dollars. Earning interest on gold means your ounces grow year over year, whether the price is $1,000 an ounce or $1 million an ounce. A steadily increasing quantity of gold and silver together, with strong history of rising prices, is a winning combination. We invite you to consider our gold fixed income products with your financial advisor or the next time you sit down to think about your investments. That concludes the audio version of my latest blog post, It's Time for Tina to Retire. Be sure to subscribe to the channel now, and if you want to get started earning interest on gold, stop by our website, monetary-metals.com, to get in contact with a relationship manager today. See you next time.